All right, hello, welcome back. Um, we are back in Hitman because I just felt like playing Hitman again. We're on the uh, normal um, Hokkaido level called Citus Inversus. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but you'll. So let's watch the uh, mission briefing here. Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has Providence written all over it. Soda's, who suffers from a rare condition known as Citus Inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. So yeah, the topic uh, I want to discuss today, I've already got everything selected, so we'll just go ahead and hit play. Um, the topic I want to discuss today is um, about uh, the intrinsic value of things. Now, intrinsic means natural, essentially. So when I say intrinsic value, it's the natural value uh, something may have. Um, so to use an example, but the interesting thing about this is that um, the values will actually shift depending on what you're looking at. So let, let me use, for an example, hey, a, so um, you're the curator's research uh, <coughs> excuse me, a gold ring. Now, so, it is so let's take a gold ring, for example. Now, if you go into a jeweler to sell it, they will uh, assess its value at um, about 20 about 10 or 20 percent less than what they can uh, sell it for now but if you have say a gold ring it might have a completely different symbolism for different people if it's a wedding ring it might sim symbolize the marriage the wedding and so on and be immensely valuable if it's a failed marriage it could be you know worthless to the same person or if it's an heirloom it, it can be, you know, worth far more than mere money. So the value we place on things um, will vary depending upon um, really our attachment to this thing, our own personal viewpoint, that sort of thing. And it makes, it makes you know, kind of assigning value to things a little bit difficult and a bit hard. Now, like I said, things like gold, they have a set standard. Um, and it depends on how well it's doing, essentially. So I've got the RA RFID Thanks. card, which is always useful. All right, let's see. What are these guys at? Okay, I can sneak by them. Hopefully get past them before they come around the corner. So, yeah. Um, and make sure nobody's around here. So, let, let's uh, take other things like um, religious books or pamphlets. They'll have completely different, let's say, okay, I'll just use myself as an example in this regard. Take, um, okay, he's coming around again, so I have to wait till he comes back. Take uh, the Bible. Now, the Bible, for me, has a great deal of value. I come from a Judeo-Christian a religious background. So for me, the Bible is very, very useful thing to have. Now, take someone who's a Muslim. 
they are going to have a completely different view on the Bible. They may or may not like the Bible um, because it's not part of their um, tradition. So I, so now what I've got is a um, neurological chip here, and what it can do is uh, manipulate this guy's emotions. And I am going to manipulate his emotions now and then get out of the way for the moment. Um, just stay kind of out of the way. Um, now, you know, take, now let's take another religious book, the uh, Quran. Now for me, the Quran is an interesting thing to study, but it has no value beyond that. You know, it's not, so, I'm not a religious, you know, I, I'm not religious in that way. I don't follow it or believe in it. Um, so, all right, so he's gone in there, which is a good thing. Because I need to get in there. And he's dismissing the two guards. So let's wait till they get out of there. Out of the way. All right, so I, let me get close to him again. I think I need to open that. that is the right side of donor so I'm decreasing the medication so that he um, will leave there. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to... Let's make sure there's nobody behind me. I'm just going to knock him out. One of the reasons I'm knocking him out is um, he can get really depressed. Now, I'm just going to lug him back here so he's not immediately visible. So, when I increase the medication on him, he comes and admires this uh, right-sided heart. For him, it's immensely beautiful and valuable. When I decrease the medication, it becomes worthless and he becomes super depressed. So, kind of an interesting take. So intrinsic values will depend on our mood and perspectives. In this case, how much drugs, drug this guy is getting into his brain. Now for uh, Sodders, who is supposed to get this heart, this is immensely valuable. I mean, he's trading basically the organization he works for, he's selling them out to get this heart. So it's incredibly valuable to him. So, let me open that up. And... Let's see how Agent um, 47, what he thinks of the heart. Okay. Kind of gross, but it's a means to an end, essentially. So the heart becomes... is basically just another tool for him to use. Now I'm trying to remember the best way to get outside. And I'm... No, this is not a good way. If I go... All the way through, which I think I can make it before they move again. So I think if I go up this way... No, that's the wrong way too. Ugh, darn it all. Let's see. Okay, they're both. Okay, I'm hoping I can make it all the way across again. <laughs> uh, I always forget what goes where. Oh, nearly saw me. All right, now. This might be where I want to go. Okay, so there are a lot of people right there. Whoa. That was for Mr. Jason Portman. A doctor will escort you to your appointment. Seems like the hospital entrance. I can get in here and get out the window. Okay, I'm hoping I can do this right. It's a little scary, right? So Thus we see that values, the values we place on... Where am I? I'm going to go hide over here for a second. Until I figure out... Shoot. The window's in the wrong spot. <laughs> I'm going to skip. 
scale up there, and I think I can get over here. Okay. Whew. Very scary. Oh, someone nearly saw me there. Oh, somebody's looking at me. Okay, I think I'm okay. <sighs> very, very scary. Going up onto the mountain path. So the, the value we place on something depends oftentimes on how much use it can be to us. Um, what we do with it. And let's see, where is Yuki Yamasaki? So I may have to wait a while for her. So the value we place on things will vary depending on, on certain things, even if everyone agrees that they're super, super valuable. I'm trying to remember if I have a good shot of her as she goes out on... I think I might actually have a shot of her when she goes on the balcony, but I could be wrong. Anyway, so, you know, why, why is that? Why can't uh, everything have exactly the same value? Nope, that's her bodyguard. Seems like she goes out on the balcony at some point. So, and, and it, it does. It's an interesting question. I don't think there's a really good answer to it. I don't think we know exactly why. Huh, I wonder if I can get an angle on her from over here. Nope, not quite. So close. Maybe over here. Oh. No. Ah, uh, she's come back, so that didn't work. It, it it is an interesting idea, at least to me, that you know we can't assign an absolute value to one thing or another, and it can lead to some very controversial debates. Um. The. Uh, controversy over abortion, for example, it, uh, it, it basically comes down to the value that people place on a, a fetus. You know, some people say it, it has a great deal of value. Other people say, no, no, hardly any value at all. And that's what the entire argument is about, whether there's value there or not. I find that very fascinating, very interesting. Now, an interesting offshoot, at least for me, uh, of this idea, this philosophy, is uh, one of economics. Which, you know, may sound a little weird, but it is uh, very true that economics um, is really fascinating because we convince ourselves that something, say a piece of gold, is say equal to an apple and we make an exchange a piece of gold for apple and then as we you know print paper money and so on we convince ourselves that this particular piece of paper is equal to an apple or more or less and it's it's really i really find that just very intriguing very bizarre okay i'm thinking i might be able to get a shot of her no it doesn't look like it Darn it all. Okay. Okay. I think she'll... Darn. Just don't have a shot of her there. So we, we convince ourselves that, say, a piece of paper is worth an apple. Just not quite the right angle there. Yeah, she's a little bit. If I could just shoot through walls. But sadly, I can't. So we convince ourselves that a piece of paper is worth a worth an apple and we can have a free exchange. And that's pretty much how commerce works. Um, certain philosophers have called this uh, the dream of economics, that we delude ourselves, that, one th that a worthless piece of paper is worth food, that we need, or something that we need to survive. 
and sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't and okay I'm yeah so at one point she's supposed to come out in the garden but I don't know if it's part of her normal rounds or not so I may have to take a shot okay come on out into the garden Not a really good angle on her. Oh, looks like she is. Yes. So, I believe she, at one point she'll actually stop in the garden and I'll have a decent shot of her. Ugh, I have to get to a point where I can see the bridge better. I hope. Ah, she's out of sight there. Okay, wait. don't have a good shot there. Ugh. Darn it. So, yeah, that took that two shots because I didn't have a good head headshot. So, I'm out of there. But yep, that's pretty much uh, what I want to say about intrinsic value. I hope you be able to realize just how complex a concept that is. And to look at things, I'm just going to skip past that uh, scene. Ooh, I thought I already got Sniper Assassin on this level. Huh, interesting. My rating is going to be fairly low, but... Ooh, I did get Never Spotted, so that's good. I thought I got spotted once or twice. Whew. No recordings. Wait, wait, wait. Quite never saw it. No notice kills. Yeah, no bodies found. So I, I knew what I was getting into. Anyway, like and subscribe if you like this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.